Okay. So, so far, last time uh, we have seen about this associative memory, several things we have seen about this associative memory. So, this one for this reason, associative memories are used in applications where search time is very critical. This also we have seen. This one. And then, hardware organization. This also we have seen, this, this one. And then, this example also we have seen. And then, about this we were talking about, this also we have seen actually, in fact, this also we have seen. Now, coming to this one. This we had to discuss. One cell of associative memory. This one we had to discuss. From here we'll, we will start, from here. So here, if you see, the point here is, uh, let me take the pen. This, you see, this one, this one, is uh, first one here. Everywhere the suffix you see, this, this one, this first one, this first, first suffix. There are two, two suffixes here, two suffix here. I'm talk talking about the first suffix. It's, uh, it's indicating the wo word here, word one word i word m so the first suffix is about the, the which word it is first word or second word meaning you can say like a row it is a, a row type you can think of and the second suffix uh, this one this is the second suffix this is about uh, this one you can think of uh, like column wise here column wise again. so now our intention is Suppose say here, how many in a row, in a row, in a row means in a word, in a word, how many bits are there total, how many bits are there here, can someone acknowledge, acknowledge means I shouldn't be waiting much time, someone unmute and tell how many bits in a word, mm -hmm. three, huh? three, Three, uh, but if you can you see, can you see yeah. carefully here? You just see, uh, I'm giving you time here in a in, in a word here. Don't type anyone in a chat video, don't type. I have to skip the presentation, I have to go to the chat window and see. So that I don't want to do. I am in the presentation mode now. You unmute yourself and talk in this row. You see the row first here. So this is the row. Row means what the word itself. The word itself. Let me clear this. This one, this word itself, this word itself is a, let us say, it's a row. This is a row one, and then this is a row i. Likewise, here is a row m. So, meaning what? In each row, one word is there. This is the one word is there. In one word, what we have? Few bits are there here. Few bits are there. In a word, what we have? few bits are there. Now the question is, in this, in a row, in any row, how many bits are there? That's the question. Mm, expecting answer. Expecting answer from you people. Baba, are you people there? Anything wrong with you people? Hello? In this way of uh, interaction, it is not possible to deliver uh, good content. N bits, then. The N bits, thank you. Thank you, Papa. I have to offer uh, thanks to the God today. Amma, at least one fellow could able to answer this. Uh, there are N bits. In a row, in a given word, there are n bits. You see the seconds of this here, seconds of keep monitoring the seconds of the n here. So in a in a word, in a given word, in or in a row, there are n bits. Now suppose say our plan is not to compare all n bits, this one to n bits. Our our idea is only to pick fewer bits and ensure that those ma that match is happening that match is happening the other bits we are not bothering whether match is happening or not about them we are not bothering we are bothering about only fewer bits so in such case in such case also in such case also 
this M, you know, this M. If because our intention is to ensure that fewer bits match is happening, even fewer bits match is happening, this is set to one. That depends upon what is our algorithm. That is uh, what happens here is uh, here the other side here. This, uh, you see the other side. Other side means this side, which is not shown here anything. So this is actually running a algorithm. What is a, a running? There is a software algorithm running. So that decides which portion to match and which portion not to match. Accordingly, we set the bits here in the hardware. This is the key. This is the key. This is the key register. In this key register, what it does is wherever the match uh, needs to uh, uh, happen, there it sets the bits as a one. So who is deciding that? This algorithm is deciding, software is deciding. For example, in your mobile phone, again the contacts example I am giving. The contact example, different mobile phones have different algorithms. So your Samsung may have different algorithm. Your Redmi, your Realme, your iPhone, all may have different algorithms. So if you open your contacts book, and if you type uh, searching a, a candidate with a, several candidates with the COA, some algorithm may uh, reflect wherever C is there. Wherever C is there, in one phone, wherever C is there, all contacts are popped up there, lined up there. Some algorithms will not so, uh, show with only one character. They need at least two characters. Some algorithms don't show with uh, two characters. They need uh, three or uh, more characters. That's what I'm talking about, this algorithm. So that algorithm decides here in this in this key register, in this key register, which uh, bits needs to be set. Here, here this is uh, whether, one, whether to set, whether to set, whether to set, whether not to set. Like that, who is deciding? This algorithm is deciding, actually. Based on that, if match is happening, based on the set one algorithm, if match is taking place, then the corresponding uh, bit here in the match register will be set to 1. If no match is entire word, there is no match at all happening, then this is set to 0, like that. So that is what this, uh, this uh, figure is all about. So this is a hardware, how this is, uh, you know, last time we have seen this one. We have set here this portion. Now, this is argument register, and this is a word register. Uh, 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 this is the argument, this is the word one. If, if you see this one and this one, this one here, because match will happen only where ones are there. So, here this one and this one. There is no match at all. So, that's why here it is a no match. If you see the other. Uh, this one that is uh, well, let me take this one uh, this one and this one meaning this argument register contains this this one zero one and this one here. the match is happening here just that's why this is the match is shown here. So this match happening or no match happening is 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 related to this portion here. We are not bothering about about the other bits here. These other bits, these bits we are not caring at all. We are not bothering. Only our uh, this algorithm according to this algorithm in the first uh, uh, three bits, this MSB said if bits are matched, then it is consider it considers like match happened. If first uh, um, three bits uh, match not happening, then it considers no match happened. This algorithm. Is that clear there, everyone? Are respond? Is that, is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. Are the people there? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. So that's what the thing is here about this. Let us uh, clear this and go, and go to this. Now what is that we are focusing is 
the internal organization of physical self pij is shown in figure that we have seen already it consists of flip flop storage elements that is fij is there one flip flop and circuits for reading and writing and matching self so we are talking about internal organization this internal organization here this associative memory memory internal organization this is how it is how it is means it is having flip flop storage element and circuits for reading writing and match the cell of so this is, this is the internal circuitry of internal organization of that associative memory the input bit is transferred into the storage cell during the write operation input bit you see the input bit here this input bit here somewhere here we show you this is internal one cell this is this complete is a this is a your uh, uh, this one this is your ci chip is that clear to everyone there what we are trying to uh, because you have to get this uh, very clearly uh, without any doubts it's a solid question a external exam solid 10 marks not less than 5 maximum 10 not less than 5 so this is a one cell associative memory this is a one cell one cell means this C C I J. What is there inside? This is there inside. This, this entire thing is there here inside. This one. This this you, you see C one one. In this C one one, what is there? This is there inside hard, hardware. This one, this hardware is. There. So let us uh, again go back here. So the input bit is transferred into the storage cell during write operation during write operation write, then we we use this one here this one that is this one this input for writing if you want to write inside the memory through this we do that the bit stored is read out during the read operation so that is if you go here if this is enabled high read read is high during write operation, this this is this possibly may be uh, low, and this is high, and the word is given through this input here. And uh, during uh, write operation, this is held high. So the bit stored is read out during read operation. Meaning at that time, what is happening here is this is set to zero, and no word will be given through this input because it is reading out. So at that time, this is one. So that is uh, the setting here. So let me again clear this. So the match logic compares the content of the storage cell with the corresponding unmasked bit. Here something that you have to focus, remember. The match logic compares the content of the storage cell with the corresponding unmasked bit of the argument and provides an output for decision logic that sets the bit in your mind. So you have to remember this. You why I am emphasizing this means this you see this is this is to someone those who are serious there it may confuse here. So we have to use the term unmasked here, this one for this. This one, this portion. It's unmasked. This is called unmasked. So this is unmasked. Where unmasked transparency is there, it is seen uh, with the words here, whether they are ma matching or not matching, because unmasked. This portion is masked. So that's what here, this is the match logic compares the content of the storage cell with the corresponding masked bit. Wherever you have put the uh, corresponding masked bit, that is once corresponding ma unmasked bit of the argument and provides an output for the decision logic that sets the bit in MI. MI is what your match register. So this is your match register. Corresponding bit is set to 1 or 0 depending upon this comparison. 
so now this one is your argument register sentence your argument register this is your argument register bit and this is your key key so what we have to understand from this uh, one cell is if you see the match logic here if you see the match logic what is coming to the match logic Ap apart from the argument bits apart from the key bits they are also coming this this one this one okay. if you see here straight away this one here you uh, you see over one minute you see the argument here you see the key here other than this wh what else is coming here to this uh, uh, cell this word bit also right this is the word bit. so this is one one is argument register this a is a argument here if you go back here this is your argument register this is your key register and this is your input that is word coming inside here are the cells those c i j those are the cells that is shown here in this that's why here this cell if you come here uh, for this uh, what we call this match logic we are now talking about the match logic how this match is uh, happening so this match logic actually taking inputs from argument register from key register and from the word bit also let us uh, elaboratively see how this is happening the match logic here in this example this is a mathematical expression so the match logic for each word can be derived from the comparison algorithm there is a algorithm what is that algorithm is a comparison algorithm for two binary numbers first we neglect the key bits and compare argument in a with bits stored in the cells of the words the very first point is we neglect the key we are not taking the into consideration the key bits only compare argument in a with with whom bits stored in the cell of the words meaning argument register and the word both are compared here so at that point we are not talking about the key key is not taken into consideration so word i is equal to the argument in a this is the a register argument register so here you have a j is equal to f i j j is uh, you substitute here like uh, a1 all through a n a n okay a here j this j a1 this is j because n bits are there in the argument register now that is equal to if that is the equal to f i j what is f i j in the word register these are the, the, the f i j in the word register this is this is this, this is word here this this is a, your we are calling f i j any bit in, in this so let us go here that f i j is a you take here for proper example first word it is i is a first that is row row let us say this is the first word and the j corresponding j is a, maybe one maybe f 1 2 likewise